Okay. What up, peoples? We're back. And animals and insects, too. Hi, folks. <laughs> episode 141. <laughs> we're say here. Something. Um, you know, back from last week, we had an interesting weekend. Fun weekend, for the most part. Yeah, very uh, fun. And we got some shit coming up this week that we got to talk about. And we should probably get into it relatively quickly. Um, we're watching Scary Movie 2. Am I too loud? Why are you shushing me? I'm mad they really say the N word. Yeah, the N word. I mean, they have to. No, they do not. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's the Wayne's brothers. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't have yeah, to. It yeah. makes everything better. Huh. Anyways, um, so like I said, we're watching Scary Movie 2. It's because we're. Did, did she uh, never drink water? We're getting to the Halloween portion of stuff. I don't know. That's disgusting. <laughs> I forgot how gross this shit is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even it's, like that's just uh it look, it's just pouring out of yeah. her. Yeah. It is it looks like burp. <laughs> anyways, like, it anyways looks horrible. It's kinda it's disgusting. Um so <laughs> We're we're doing a new, <laughs> new little test format where we're gonna have ten minute time limits on everything we're talking about. So we're gonna talk about four main things this weekend. We're what gonna talk happens about when we go over the time. We get punched. <laughs> You just a quick punch, and I'm fine with it. So you got your Battle Club Pro shirt on. Yes, yes, yes. You went yes. to Battle Club. We, um, we I went to Battle to Club the, this weekend. The icons one, but I don't have anything. I should have had my um, Ugly Duckling shirt, but you know, I wore it on. I wanted to wear it up. too, but yeah. but I had to wash it. So. Um, shout out to the Ugly Ducklings because we love your merch. Next you have week. some of the best merch we've seen. No, you so. wear yours next week, and I might wear. I'm gonna wear my Brandy Lawrence shirt next week. Tell me what to do, ho. Okay, what anyway. So we're gonna do ten minutes per thing. See how this works out. We're already like two minutes in, so we're trying to be like under forty five minutes to make it easier for me to edit and stuff. And so, um, but yeah. So what are we gonna start off? Battle Club Pro because we went to Battle Club. Pro. Yeah, we were there. Yeah. So um, it was amazing. Battle Club Pro was awesome. Honestly, ten minutes start now. Um, it was great. Like we got to see a lot of people. We got to see Tasha Steeles again. Yeah. We got to see um. Ooh, LAX. Fresh off the road from Ring of Honor. Fresh Tasha, off the road. Tasha Steele. Yeah, we got to see amazing. um Jordan Grace. Looking amazing. We, yeah, we got to see Shotzi Blackheart. Looking amazing. Looking great. Um, we got to see uh, driving driving a toy uh which toy it? tank to the ring, which is actually pretty cool. Um we also got to see who else did we get to see? Um Tessa Blanchard. Yeah, oh my god, fucking Tessa. Fucking love you, Tessa. Honestly yeah. speaking, Tessa is the best what female wrestler. Hands down. Hands down right now. It's not really debatable. It's not. It can be, depending on who you are, but we've had a conversation during Battle Club, and it's pretty undeniable who who's the best female wrestler right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, no, no, this, and that's like not with a disrespect to anyone else. To anyone else, you know, <laughs> Sasha Banks, Bailey, Charlotte Flair specifically, um, any of that stuff, like even like Bailey and whatnot. Like yeah, we have yeah. we have talented wrestlers Rio from AEW had Nyla Rose we, we yeah. have talent out there but undeniably right now even Jordan Grace who was there by yeah. the way I, I, so like 1A and 1B maybe I wouldn't go that far yet it can, I wouldn't even put her above a, I wouldn't put her above Charlotte or Becky right now four, right now any of the four, four horsewomen I put her above Bailey I mean Okay. Jordan Grace, the thing is, Jordan Grace <laughs> yeah. is a beast. Yeah, she is. She's, so like, yeah, she's a yeah. different type. Yeah. Um, she for me, she's like a smaller version of China in terms of like how strong she is or how she could fuck people up. We we saw an all out where she almost yeah. um, all in, where yeah. she almost like dead like dead lifted and, um, fucking, and squatted. Yeah, and squatted um Brian Cage. So yeah. like, not a lot of women will be able to do that. I don't. Not to take anything away from Tessa, saying that she wouldn't be able to do that, but yeah. somebody like Jordan Grace clearly is, you know. Yeah, but I, don't, I again, really don't know who can if if those two can do it. I don't know who else can. Like I don't. Charlotte might be able to. Huh. Charlotte's a beast. Maybe Charlotte's a beast too. I'm just saying, like we were we were happy to be able to see them there. 
Um, we saw some great matches, honestly. Uh, the whole card the was card. really, really good. Honestly, so um, just to review the card real quick, we had um, Shotzi Blackheart versus Matt McIntosh. Um, it was really good, really fun. The um, he even started off with a started off with a. Um, I, I don't want to say it though. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, anyway, no, but, no, say but it. But it, it was a, it was a, it was a crotch slap to the to the woman. It's a different terminology, but he it pretty much did it. I'm gonna say um, it. It wasn't a dick flick. <laughs> it wasn't a dick flick at all. It was a twat. Yeah, it was a twat flick twat or a twat slap, whatever. Twat slap, um, yeah. But pretty damn good. Um, we had the Amante vs. Casey Navarro, her brother, which was actually a pretty damn good match. Honestly, really good match. Um, and they're they're really good at playing against each other. Yeah. Like. When he slapped the shit out of her, and we were just like, "Oh!" <laughs> if you can't do it to your siblings, I don't know who you can exactly. do it to. Exactly, like, and that so, that one was that one was crazy. It was um, the only echo, and we were outside. Yeah, and we were outside, and it shit echoed hard. Uh, we also had um, the top dog versus the ugly duck. Well, that actually didn't happen. The top dog versus the ugly ducklings. So who was, was it? Was because it, it was dogs? yeah, it was the top dogs. I believe it was, and it was half. It was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah my bad. It was CPA and. And, uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the guys from the yeah, Ugly yeah. Ducklings because somebody yeah. couldn't make it, which but is fine. It was still a yeah. great match, and we still love the Ugly Ducklings. Mm-hmm. This was the second match we got to see them in. Happy to have actually bought the shirts too, so hopefully yeah. we can see them again sometime soon. And we can link up and maybe get an interview, man. Like we would love that. And somewhere honestly. televised too. Exactly. So. Um, also, we had uh, Jordan Grace versus Darius Carter. We've seen Darius Carter a bunch of times. A bunch this of is times, our second yeah. time watching um, Jordan Grace live. Um, yeah. We've seen her plenty of times uh, on TV and whatnot, but um, watching her live Battle against, Club, against yeah, Darius Cardi. Yeah, Cardi, Carter. Yeah, right. um, Battle Club for the second time. So. Yeah, for the second time. Um, the first time we went to Battle Club, we saw her. The second time now that we... Well, at least the second time I've gone. Um, she's yeah. been there, so pretty, pretty good. Um, and... We we knew the match we were gonna get it was gonna be hard hitting and she yeah. was gonna she was gonna take her licks and whatnot um and she got the win so is that James Woods yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah she got the win so I mean there's she nothing like in this movie it, it was it was crazy uh then we had Tasha um we had Tasha Steele versus um Harley O'Hara. O'Hara Harley O'Hara yeah Harlow. I love Harley O'Hara. Harlow yeah my Harlow. Harlow O'Hara like Harlow. You're fucking awesome. Like your whole the whole gimmick coming out, like it, it just fucking the works. queen gimmick was yeah, the amazing. Queen gimmick one just of the fucking best. works yeah. all the time. We love it. Um, especially coming out with the carnies as well. Yeah. Like it just perfectly matched. We haven't seen the carnies in so long. Yeah, so this was really good. It, this is another been, time. It was the last time. I mean, the first time we saw them yeah. like, was at Battle Club again. Yeah. Like it was the first we went to the uh, May the villain reign, right? That's what that was. Long yeah, villain, I thought it was or, the one before that, but yeah. No, that's the one we went to. We um, always had that's that where same we, that's where conversation. That's we first saw Dario. Not Dario. I'm um, Dar. Um, uh, Darius Carter. That's the first time we saw him. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because he had the match against. Um, and he came out to Marty Skrull's music. Remember? Yeah, I think he had the match with Cage. Yeah, Cage. Yeah. Or M- no, it was Moose, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Who was it? I think it was actually. Um, was it Flip? EC3. It was EC3. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It was. Um, I know it was somebody just as big and, and built and cut up. Anybody as, that, as that had been to the Battle Club, correct us if we're wrong. We, we don't, it was two years ago. We don't really remember. But, um, you know. So then after that, we had uh, and Tasha Steeles. Tasha Steeles is a fucking beast. She's honestly, for me, she's yeah. ready for a bigger push and bigger TV. Like, well, you see it. At least on, on a bigger promotion. Um, you see it happening, though. Like you, so, uh, We called it when yeah. like we were talking to her, like when we shot a promo video, the if you want to watch it. In Bonica, March. Um, the Boricua Badass, we shot it back in March at the Queen of the... No, it wasn't. It was the... Not Three the Hard Way, the one before that. Uh, I really forgot which yeah, one it wasn't was. Queen of the North, was it? Queen of the North was in January. Yeah. March was another one that I really don't remember. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Either we'll way. We'll come back to um, that. When we interviewed her or when we did the promo video with her, like she... uh, You could tell. You could tell. We could yeah. tell. Like, and I even told her that right afterwards. Like, she has the persona she has a wrestling acumen she has the skills and it was a great match she got the it was win. this um, show though yeah it was that show i just don't it know was. the name of it. Uh, <laughs> I can't um, the name of it but yeah man it was a uh, it was a good match and uh cool. it turned it turned into like a eight man tag or eight women tag whatever no it was six eight, man eight man it was eight of them it was how it was the ladies plus the three people that came out i thought it was only two people that came out 
It was three per side. All right. Yeah. I could, yeah. Um, I could be wrong. And it was for the title. And Sasha Steele got the title. She got the... What was the name of the title? I fucking forgot. The Icons. Yes. The Icons Championship. Yeah, that's the name um, of it. From yeah. Battle Club Pro. So, like, that's... She's, she's a new Icons Champion. After that, we had um, Tessa Blanchard versus um, Anthony Bowens. Yeah. And a uh, great match. Um, very, very competitive. Tessa was like, hit me, bitch. Like, very strong style. Yeah, for very it. strong style. But not strong style. Like, it was one of those matches that was really good for it to be a, a whole... The whole card was intergender. Yeah. So, not... The no, whole card, as LAX put it, was wrestling. Yes, yes. Not intergender. It was wrestling. It was the athletes wrestling. fighting. Yeah. But with the idea... Not knowing that or, or just knowing about the card beforehand... It was a really good in, intergender card. The whole, every the whole thing match, was great. The whole thing every, was yeah. great. Honestly, yeah, there was, and this was it was the heavyweight title match. Yeah. So it looked like that. Yeah, it didn't look like a dude fighting a chick. No, it looked it felt like, like Tessa two B people ain't nothing to fuck with. It. <laughs> like exactly that's what it was. Yeah, Tessa, Tessa B, B ain't, ain't nothing to fuck with. Straight up, that's what it I was. I need that shirt. <laughs> um, that, yeah, for real. Can I, you make that shirt? I, I think she might have the shirt. She can reach out to Wu Tang and they can make the they can make a T for her. Facts. Oh, they should definitely make a T for her. T B. Yeah. Oh, come on. And after that, um, <laughs> we had as the main event of the. Of the whole card, we had um the C Stars versus Santana and Ortiz, uh, yeah. formerly known as AL, uh, LAX. Um, great fucking match. Yeah. Honestly, it was it was so much fun to watch because LA LAX and Santana Ortiz were being fun. They were having fun. I'm gonna say Ortiz was, was being more. Well, they were both being fun. They were both being. Ortiz was just being. He yeah, was being. He was like, oh shit! Over like, the top. Time, yeah. He was being hokey, yeah. and it was great. And it worked. It and was the C Stars sold everything. They, yeah. They're so they're talented as hell. Yo. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Eventually, like in the next year or two, they get picked up by at least like somebody, yeah. anybody, even if it's like another tour, like the same way how Tasha Steele's yeah, did the, like she's like got a tour with Young Honor, Challenge or something like some, that. Like exactly, whether it's a one off or not, really fucking good. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's. You said we've seen them before. We have seen I don't them. Remember, we at least saw one of them. Yeah, I remember seeing okay. at least one of them at one of the BCW shows. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you definitely did say during the... Um, uh, I have the pictures, but during it the was January so much show. fun. And then LAX had a had a bunch of um, things to say afterwards. Yes, yeah, so they had a you know, heartfelt, a heartfelt good, goodbye. Five-minute goodbye. Santana was was speaking, and you can just see it in his face. You can see it in his eyes. That's that's time. That's time. We can, you can finish that one. Either way, Santana was, was, was showing how much... One, being a New York meant to him. Uh, his last show... As an indie star, being in New York, like being in New York City, one, not just New York, but New York City. It meant a lot. Being in Brooklyn, it meant a lot. And you can tell. Uh, what are we going on to next after that? We are moving on to, I don't remember what I thought. <laughs> uh, we are moving on to New Japan. New Japan. Obviously, since that was what happened on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, right. So we went to Fighting Spirit Unleashed. We had some great seats. Yeah. Uh, we were like fourth row. We um, had great seats, but then we also had an asshole in front of us. White people can't handle their liquor. S- some drink. white people. Some. This, this particular some. white person yeah. cannot. He was being mad annoying. He and had, you can just tell he had that terrible he, friends. It was, it was yeah. mad annoying. Very yeah, because he dropped either one of way, their phones at one point and it was great. Either way. It was great. You should have said something before. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> Ten minutes start now. So uh, Ren Ren Narita versus so we had, TJP yeah, was, TJP was versus the Ren great Narita. start off. Great fucking start to them. Yeah. I, the whole card, honestly, that I at least saw the first six matches, I had to leave early because I had to go see one of my friends. Um, what is this guy doing? One of my boys is leaving in Virginia. He packing up and leaving tomorrow. So, you know, had to go chill. That's why I left. That's why I Ubered it from Manhattan Center. <laughs> I mean, he gave her a wedgie. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, um, no, it was a great start. Yeah. Um. So, the show started late by about an hour. It supposed to start at 7.30. started about 8.20, almost yeah. 8.30. Yeah. So, the matches had a frenetic pace to it, but also controlled yeah. pace to it. So, like, the first five matches were under 10 minutes, right? Yeah. But yeah. you wouldn't know they were under 10 minutes if you... Because, like, you know, for New Japan, you always hear the five minutes pass, yeah. 10 minutes pass, 15 minutes pass. The first four matches were under 10 minutes. The fifth match was 11 minutes, maybe. Um, so the first match, TJP defeated Red Narita, like you said. Great match, yeah. great to start off. Oh, I love his heat. 
Oh yeah, everybody hates his CJP. Heat. I love it um, though. But you know, he embraces it too. Yeah, he, yes. We have the picture of him going, <laughs> like, like, mm. at, you know, overlay. Like, it, it. it was great. It was a, um, it was it was great just to see how much yeah. he's comfortable in that, whether he wants to be in it exactly. or not. Um, how he could like play play with yeah. it at least. Um, he's after a vet. that, he's only thirty, but he's exactly. been there. He's been in the, in the game for a hot minute since fifteen. Like right, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Man, you gotta knock with the nuts. I'm gonna get those. <laughs> <laughs> so Definitely. we had Lance Archer <laughs> defeating Carl Fred, uh, Fredericks. Um, Fredericks is part of the LA Dojo. Yes. Um, he used to be a young lion, but they sent him to the LA Dojo, and uh, he's still a he's young still a young lion, lion technically. Yeah. And so he gets but, colors um, in, in his mm-hmm. trunks, yeah, and some kind stuff, of pizzazz. Yeah. He's still a young lion. So, but it was a good match. I mean, Carl Fredericks put in as much as he could against Lar- Lance Archer, as much as anybody could against Lance Archer. And Lance so, Archer was um, trying to kill. He got mad at us for saying that everyone's gonna die. Yeah. And <laughs> he was everybody like, dies, and it's like that's my thing. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and at one was, point. When he was about to slap him on the chest, everybody was like, shh. And he's like, I didn't tell you to be quiet. <laughs> like, he said it mad loud. Everybody started laughing. Um, so, you know, him playing to the crowd. Last Archer is a beast. We saw him at the G1. We saw what he could do, like, throughout that whole tournament, just straight killing everybody. Yeah, now he's and, being uh, a player again. He's being a, a daytime player again. Yeah. Right? So, um, hopefully, like, I want to see him get a title shot eventually. Like, that'll be. I want to see him win a title shot. Win a title shot or win a title? I mean, like, Both. I want to see him go, like, at least for, like, the Never Open or something. Because I don't know if he's fully contracted to them. I'm, yeah, I don't know I'm what the sure. full contract it is with them. Um, but I would just like to see him be used more because yeah. I love watching Lance Archer. Like, he's he's a freak. The aggression and, and, and yeah, just the aggression from somebody yeah. so fucking tall. He's it's almost, he's scary, like six, man. seven. Yeah. And he really, like, he's a monster. Mm-hmm. He can be a cane type just without a mask. That's pretty much what he is already. He is. So you can't go wrong with Lance Archer. Take my strong hand. Oh my God, that's so fucking gross. And then the thumb looks all pimple. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, after how did, that. How did the interference deal with that? I don't know. <laughs> after that, we had Mikey Nichols and Juice Robinson defeating Chuck Connors and Alex Coughlin. Um, these guys were good. Chuck Connors and Alex Coughlin. Oh, the Young Lions. I was Yo, I was telling you that's because they were Shibata. They is, were on it. LA Another Dojo. LA Dojo product. Like these guys were on it hard. Yeah. Um, so the fact that they were already training and, and then they got to the dojo and they, they can do this mm-hmm. says a lot. Training line. hard looks. They look great in the ring. I mean, Mickey, um, Mickey Nichols and Juice Robinson eventually got the win, yeah. but I was they not on a show. That. It, it was like I mean it, I should have because they're the young yeah, excuse me young lions young lions mm-hmm. but you don't expect them to be that polished yeah you know what I mean As like they the almost match, look ready for Maine exactly so watching the match that's what I thought I was like oh, they, they might not win no yeah when they came out I was like eh whatever but like there was yeah. a couple close calls and I was just I like, like Juice's look good. too Juice's look he was he's a little bit over the top nowadays I don't know well, what remember, it is remember the match was shortened. This is true. So the match was short, and so he had to be extra because yeah. we're not going to see him. But when we do go to see him, we know what we're going to get. It's true. And, right. and, and he is like the flamboyant, like exactly. Yeah, right. That's his I think gimmick. it was just extra flamboyant this time around. He missed, I even asked you. I was like, hey, man, that's it's like, yeah, that's like, just him. That's just but him. Hey, on I mean, overdrive. he was yeah, he was overdrive. We usually get to see him for twenty minutes. This is yeah, less than a short end. Yeah, everything so was makes sense. Put onto one package. Yeah. Um, after that, we had Jado Tangalo and Tamatanga. Jado and G.O.D. defeating Rocky Morel at a Rocky Morel yo and sh- show as for Punky 3K. Yeah. Great match from start to end. Fast action here. And th- like, it was just go, 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 go the whole time. And um, we, sh- were, we were talking yo. about how fucking it's, I mean, it's show. And yo, we, we know how they Second are. time we saw them Rocky Room, exactly. Um, we first saw them as the Tempura Boys back when they were um, at Global Wars. And yeah. Shit. So. Yeah. Um, Before they got to chaos. Exactly. Uh, and then uh, we when we were watching Tama Tonga, like in the ring, it's just this motherfucker is so fast. It's just like you could tell that he played a different sport beforehand. Yeah. I don't think it was football, like you said. Yeah, probably defensive. And the motherfucker is so much faster than you think in real life because it's different seeing it on video and watching it streamed live. But when you yeah. see it like live in person, in like person, he you know? 
he is fucking quick and I was dying when he was like slithering around the ring when he was like on the floor yeah, just, just like slithering behind him I, I was like I love when he does what? that I, was like, I what love you? it he I'm like this is the real that. Viper yeah I'm like fuck around the yard and this is the real Viper because he does it all the time yeah. like granted Tom Crunch yeah so he was doing it we're doing extra even more. yeah, yeah but. everybody was being a little bit extra but it was so much fun we got a great picture of Tama Tonga as well he's just like so like I Oh, I'll overlay certain pictures. Remember, they were they were trained by uh, the Bentley brothers too. Yeah, exactly. Bentley boys. Yeah, same shit. Same. Shit. <laughs> um, after that, we had the Rock and Roll Express and Hiroshi Tanahashi defeating Bushi, Tetsuya Naito, and Shingo Takagi. Lij. Um, good match. Uh, we were talking about how uh, these guys, the um, Rock and Roll Express, move really well for se- for like 60, 70 years old already. Yeah, and um, they're in great shape. They even one of them even did a fucking I think was it Ricky Morton that did a fucking suicide dive. I think so. Yeah, yeah. did a fucking suicide dive. You're like almost seventy, if not seventy. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't break your hip, please. But you know, if they're gonna do it to anybody, it would be like uh, a Bushi, Tetsuya Naito, and Shing or Shingo who would yeah. be able to protect them. And I think it was on Shingo that they did it too. Yeah. So, um, Great match, actually. Like, I wasn't expecting much from it, but it was actually pretty pretty fun to watch. We were... You know what's so funny? I don't even, I don't even want to say what we were going to say, what I was going to say. Weeks. But the fact that we had we saw them with Ring of Honor one way, and then we see them with New they Japan. So much, uh, so much more energetic. That plays a part into and what's on top happening of that, with Ring of Honor. The partnership with Hiroshi Tanahashi, like Rock and Roll Express, and you know, he's the fucking ace. He does the guitar shit. Yes. It was so playing in perfect. They were, so. so the group... Of the three were called the Air Guitar Express. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I was looking Perfectly at that. That's like really funny, but that really makes sense because yeah. that's because he does that all the time and they're old. Mm-hmm. They're men. Oh, they're <laughs> so they're into that. I mean, I'm into I'm into the rock and roll yeah. too, but I'm not I'm not slashing it up. But so after next? that we had Amazing Red, Hiroki Goto, and Tomohiro Ishii defeating um Gato, Chase Owens, and Jay White. That's right. Always great to see Jay White. We did get um, to see that match. Yeah. It was it was a good match overall. I mean, you know what you're gonna get out of Tomohiro Ishii. You know what you're gonna get out of Goto. Goto looking even like more cut up and slim. Mm-hmm. He just looks fucking good now. Yeah. Um, it, it's fucking ridiculous what that LA Dojo has like. I done think for what's him. really happening is the fact that there's so much wrestling out right now that if you want to be on TV, you have to look the part. If yeah. you're gonna be on TV, you have to play the part. I remember two years ago in Wrestle Kingdom when he was going for the Never Open Weight Championship, he didn't look like that. No. But now he like he's fucking cut up. Yeah. Like homeboy like went to And there's also moments on, where you just want to put on weight. Yeah. And then you sit and then once you get it, you you're like, okay, now I have to cut it. Now exactly. I have to make all of this lean. Mm-hmm. So I get it. Yeah. I get it. That's probably what that could have been the goal then. So he's there. After that, we had Kenta defeating Yoshihashi for the Never Open Weight Champion, def- like defending his Never Open Weight Championship. Really good match. Really good match. Really good match. Okay, I'll, I I really want to see that. I had to yeah. leave beforehand. Um, I'm pretty I sure it was you a good saw match. That. No, I left right after the Amazing Red and Hiroki Goto. You right? Yeah. yeah. There was yeah. there was only the last two matches. It was the two left. matches you didn't get to see. Um, really good match. I'm pretty sure it was hard hitting. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was quick as fuck. It's as well. one of his better matches that we have, that I've Yoshi ever Hashi? seen. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I'll definitely watch that. I've seen. We would suck yeah. shit for the most part. We, we, we have, when he was coming out, we was like, oh, Ring of Honor is here. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Leave my guy alone. He's He needs to, he needs to just chill for a minute. Heal, find yourself again and read. Heal up. Because yeah. this whole year, he has not been... A hundred percent. And no. I know no wrestlers a hundred percent, but he's been taped up in every match. We so got the last one, which is Evil and Sonata defeating Kota Ibushi and Katsuchika Okada. Oh shit, really? They won. Yeah. I mean it's Evil and Sonata. The fucking tag teams of tag teams. Like, yeah. Some of, like two of the best in the world. Yeah, honestly. that's a tag team who has teamed together. And they're both numerously on top years. of that, both of them are amazing singles competitors in their own right exactly so, so to be able to i mean you have a tag team that's been a tag team for a hot minute together and on top of that they're amazing singles competitors against a tag team that hasn't been but are like some of the greatest singles competitors yeah so they like have some of that, matches they have yeah. tag matches together but, but they don't it doesn't have, mean that like, yeah. they don't have the chemistry they don't that, have uh, years of that even that sonata would have or a uh you know rocky Mar- show yo and show would have or whatever no um, that was but all his great fault. Match. That was just all his fault. Like, why would you say, "Oh, my germs"? Why would you do that? 
Who is she? I want to know who that is, though. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just keep drinking. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much a fine experiment. At least we have some pictures that, you know, would be overlaid already. Um, Don't tell them. Point. Just do it. Yeah, but it's fine. You're wasting time. I know I'm wasting time. Ten You're right. seconds. You're right. I'm wasting <laughs> ten seconds. Um, so we could go on to WWE news and uh, ah. pay-per-view stuff. Uh, so this week... <laughs> Um, we have had a cell apparently that I didn't know was happening this week, and we were just like, what the We didn't fuck? know until Sunday. Until Saturday. Saturday, Saturday because yeah. that's when we were at Battle Club. And we were like, yeah. What the fuck? We're like, really? Mean? That's happening? They just had a pay per view like two and a half weeks ago, which is fucking true. Yeah. They only had it two and a half weeks Yay, ago. Yay, David for my birthday. And had a pay-per-view. All of a sudden, yeah. Now, three weeks, two and, and, and a half. All of a sudden, later, now we have had a cell. It's crazy. So it's just like, what? What's going on? So the uh, confirmed matches right now, because, you know, we have the raw. That's season premiere, right all of a sudden, it's happening right yeah, now. It's a season premiere, like always. I've right? never fucking, like always. I've never, I've never known that. He was hasn't thing. heard this. Yet. Um, then I, we have. I'm not going to lie. It it happens at the top of the show, the most boring part where nothing happens. Which, oh yeah, sitting here, sitting here with such and such, and we're doing this at the season premiere. Yeah, that like that's when it happens. So it's boring. Um, do it. Oh, and apparently right now, Brock Lesnar is whooping out Rey Mysterio and his kid. Cool. Um. <laughs> So, I'm, what we have I'm for <laughs> what we have confirmed for Hell in a Cell is uh, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. I don't know why. I don't fucking care. Um, and the Raw Women's Championship yeah. match: I'm Becky Lynch it. versus Sasha Banks in a rematch um, in a Hell in a Cell match, and the Universal Champion Seth Rollins versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt in a Hell in a Cell match. Uh, again, too early for me to have that happen. Um, also, we have happening this week is uh, yeah, because remember the WWE title is going to be on Friday. What Kofi and Brock are going to have the title match on Friday? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're still, they still they so have to finish out the card pretty much by Saturday. Yeah. We don't we nowadays we're not going to know what the card is until Saturday yeah, or we, basically we're gonna, Friday night. We're going to get two. We're going to get maybe two matches tonight. Tag match, raw tag match. Raw mid card, same thing with with Saturday. Tag match, mid card. No, you're title. gonna have yeah, you're gonna have the same thing and like the, and the, the woman's main title. title. And the, yeah, exactly. So you're gonna have about an eight card, an eight card. Um. So why is Brock on both shows this week? Cause he can be. Because it's the season premiere. Cause I don't give a fuck. It's the season premiere. But we also have SmackDown starting this week on Friday on Fox. Um, yeah. we're gonna see how that goes. I mean. Are we gonna see? I'll watch it because oh, you're gonna watch it. I will watch it if I'm home. Watch, he's gonna if watch I'm home. WWE. He's gonna if watch I'm it. Um, he's not gonna be home. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be home honestly. So you're not gonna watch it at all? All you're I know is I'm gonna watch Action Bronson on Saturday. We're both gonna. Oh go yeah, we're doing that. that. Yeah, I should remember yeah. that. I should put that in my yeah. in my Rolodex on on your brand new phone. He finally got a new phone. Hey. He finally got a new phone. <laughs> so pictures that I take now look super clear. So now, if you see me posting pictures, this is why. And he looks ugly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but yeah, so we have... Uh, You'll see in the prison how ugly I So it's going to be interesting. This week for WWE is going to be super important. Is it because, really? Yeah, honestly speaking, because they're going up against AEW this week. It's going to be the premiere week of AEW. Yeah. So it, you're going to have like... So the way that their new format is going to be, is gonna, they're going to have Raw. Then they're going to have whatever fucking SmackDown preview they're going to have. Um, or is it is it WWE preview week? Or is it like... I don't know how that's happening. On Preview Tuesday. Premium. I don't know Premier. what the fuck. On Tuesdays, you said they're going to have a show, correct? AEW. Oh, I thought you were saying... No, I was saying AEW is going to have their highlight show or their preview show for uh, for Dynamite tomorrow night. So they're going to have two shows this week. They're going to have Tuesday and they're going to have Wednesday. Uh-huh. They're going to have the show show on Wednesday and then they're going to have the preview. Oh, get ready, get ready for. Okay. Either way... With WWE, they have Raw happening right now. Then they have WWE NXT that's going to have to put on a show to compete with fucking AEW. Yeah. And then we're going to have SmackDown on Friday. That's going to pretty much going to be the go-home show now, for sure, for um, Hell in a Cell. And then Hell in a Cell is going to have to deliver. because I remember complaining about this shit last week. Because if one fucking show on a different promotion beats out their whole week... WWE is kind of fucked. Yeah, because it's so much shit now. Yeah. Like even down to NWA having their new show. And apparently, all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we learned that know. 
205 Live isn't being incorporated as we thought into. It's going to be incorporated it's be after into after fucking it. The title is going to be incorporated into NXT, but 205, the show is going to be incorporated the same way it was on that shit after, after no SmackDown. no fucking sense. So, yeah. I don't know, man. But that's what's going on with uh, WWE right now. Um, and, 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 is there NXT, anything, any other WWE news? NXT UK will be on Thursdays. Right, correct. This yeah. is almost getting as bad as the NFL when you have it on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. Because then once you get to Thursday, it's just like, damn, fuck, it's football again? I want to know what this new Raw stage looked like. I didn't see the stage. I just saw Brock going in on Ray and the kid, so... That's that's really the only news that we have. Like, oh, it's a new stage because. Mm. I hope he really punched him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wrestling. So Nothing against you. It's a forearm. I'm just saying. No punches. It's only forearms. You tell that to Brock Lesnar. That motherfucker punches you. Close fist. Go to jail. For you give a fuck. You go to jail for closed fist, Brock. You don't give a shit. You don't give. I'm a suing. They not shit. <laughs> Doesn't give any any. Any fucks. Yeah, well, uh, he has to figure that out. I have no idea about anything else with WWE. There's really no other news. I think that's pretty much it, honestly. And yeah. we, we've covered what we've covered. Uh, so, moving on to... I, well, since I said the NWA thing, right? I might as well uh, just go in with that. They have a, they had a press conference yesterday, and they have one... T- well, today and tomorrow, tonight, they actually showed off the new title belt for the women. Mm pretty cool you just don't like it because it's it's an interesting design i like the belt Mm -hmm. i like the white and black like the silver and black it looks great and i think the belt is actually white as well yeah it looks great until you get to the picture of the champion in the middle it's super old school and it's It's, not necessary it's it's we we really i'm not really mad at it i don't really care about it we really don't need it but at the at the you gotta you have to remember this is nwa fuck yeah this is crazy. But you have to remember, this is NWA. Uh-huh. A lot of their people are a lot of their stars are not really that known. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't know them. So if you know Allison K as Sienna, put her picture on, on the title and you'll always see her as she's holding the title. I mean, that makes some mm-hmm. sense the it way does. I said it. But and you still won't know who that is yeah, anyway. Yeah. But it's Brandon. That's all it is. It's just Brandon because we've forgotten the, uh, NWA and now we have to get to know them all over again. So they have they have a new title and they also are doing Tuesday shows as well. Well, not even, that's pretty good though. They're doing a Tuesday <laughs> show by themselves, actually. She getting banged the whole way? Yes. Okay. You've never known that? I, I just never really paid attention. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay, he's right, smoking right, a right, cigarette right, after right, and he right. leaves because she just keeps talking. but i like the fact that nwa is utilizing the fact that ring of honor i'm not ring of honor wwe is no longer doing smackdown on tuesday so tuesday slot is open i guess for uh for impact and for nwa even for me it's too much wrestling but they're starting at six o'clock in the afternoon well i get out of work the show is i get home yeah the show is called power kind of makes sense with power going on right no, it doesn't. No. <laughs> well, you can utilize all of that. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Um, so, That's this it. week, the but. biggest news this week is AEW's finally having their um, their first live show. Why you show. don't want to finish strong? We still have Ring We're of Honor to talk strong. about. No, there's nothing to talk about. The Ring of Honor wasn't even on the docket. If you wanted to That's put it on the docket. That's why I texted you that. No. If you wanted <laughs> to put it on the docket, it should have been on the docket. You should have amended it. I mean, they had a whole nah, show that we didn't give a see. Fuck. No. Don't care. More Matt people, Taven's not the champion. I don't care. More people seen the show than they saw the last show. Don't care. What? Three more people? <laughs> that don't fucking count. I don't know. Anyway. No, no, because they were in Vegas. It's a smaller venue, but it always get packed out. Okay. So there's that. But the top prospect tournament is happening again. That's really the only thing that matters. No. PC, PCO dived again and he didn't bust his head open this time. Anyway, <laughs> AEW starts tomorrow. Not tomorrow. It starts on Wednesday. I Anyways, should've, I should have saved all of this for the like, last... Shut up. No, I would have <laughs> legit just cut it off. So, AEW starts their first inaugural show That's this happens, week you didn't um, on Wednesday against NXT. <laughs> you didn't put the top. Not my fault. What are you talking about? It's for, for the top. Now you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, finally, we have our... 
Our we're long awaited AEW. Yes. We've been waiting for a hot minute since January. Um, we knew it was going to come out this year. We didn't know how long it's going to take to get their TV yep. deal, but it's finally here. So they're going to start off um, this week with uh, Cody versus Sammy Guevara. We, we, I don't know if you've seen the match. It's actually on Netflix. There's a match that they've had before. Yep. But, um, and it was a great match, honestly. But uh, it's going to be... It's gonna be a great match, I think. Honestly speaking, anybody that's ever seen Sammy, he he's talented as fuck. Yeah. And you know, Cody's Cody, so we're we're gonna get a good a good match out of that. Honestly speaking, um, after that we have MJF versus Brandon Cutler. Um, that's gonna be really good. I like uh, Brandon Cutler's shirt because of the whole thing that they had going back and forth with the whole idea of he plays Dungeons and Dragons and he's a nerd. The whole MJF shit. Yeah. So that's on his shirt. It's a dragon holding the, uh, I think, like, the, the 12-sided die or uh-huh. whatever it is. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool shirt. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Um, should be a good match to watch. Yeah. I, we we love watching MJF. He's, like, the yeah. mega heel right now in, um, in wrestling entertainment or sports entertainment. So, um... I would say in all of wrestling right now, he's the, one of the best heels. Oh, yeah. I mean, because he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, for a minute, that was Sammy, but now it's not. No, yeah. Not the... One Not and, that Sammy can, one because and two. Sammy can be for it's sure. It's just one and two. Callahan, but, yeah. Sammy yeah. Callahan is just, at the moment, number two. Yeah, exactly. Um, after that, we have Pac versus Hangman Page completely confirmed um, for this Wednesday. Uh, really? This He's is a match movie. we had to get, we were supposed to get um, yeah. for... Double or nothing. Yes, for double or nothing. And um, it didn't happen. Was it double or nothing? Yeah. Yes, it was. We were supposed to get it was the first. Nothing. It was the first show. Um, something happened where they didn't um, agree on terms or creative terms or whatnot. Two companies but, um, didn't agree on terms and they pulled the match. Yeah. So uh, now we're having the match finally, and it's going to be on their first yeah. show, which uh, makes sense to me. Honestly, might as it well does. have a big match that was advertised and had to be pulled for a certain reason. But yeah, and you don't I have hope to do... It's going to be. It's going to be a beast of a match because we had Pac versus Kenny Omega. Yeah. At, um, all out was it? Yeah, yeah, right. That was the last match. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it's it's gonna be a good match overall, and we we know what Hangman Page could do. We know what Pac could do. So it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, honestly. What do you think about uh, the Elite versus Jericho and his two partners? We're not there yet. Oh, I don't. I'm going. Where by are you AWs. at? Oh, that's well. You should. I'm I'm, I'm on their thing. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, CBS. After that, we have the which this might be the title match. Honest, this might be the main event. Yeah, the, the women's title match. So we have the AEW women's title match: Rio versus it Nyla Rose. Be. It should be honestly. It, oh, for for the premiere episode. Yeah, it should to, be to Absolutely. have that bullet point. Absolutely should be. Yeah. So CBS actually might be right if they have it last. Do they have it last? No, they don't. Okay, then CBS. Also. Anyways, but we have they the AEW women's second. title match: Rio versus Nyla Rose. Um. We've seen Rio. <laughs> Rio's a beast. I'm gonna hate this one. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have not watched this movie in years. This movie is ridiculous. Um, so we have uh we know what Rio could do. She's yeah. been in the game since she was like what, 13? That's what? what they said, yeah. Fucking savage. Uh and we have Nyla Rose, who's very well known, um, the first transgender wrestler i and, really uh, didn't realize how known she's how yeah, known she is she's and she's been around for years yeah like yeah. everyone knows her yeah and she's, she's everyone has she had does. a match with her she's great at what she does anybody that's like big at least on the indie scene yeah. like they've had matches and that's her. great to hear yeah. like no one has said anything bad no. about her and like she's a beast man. yeah she's a beast so we're gonna see what happens here honestly speaking um because it's it's gonna be interesting, honestly. Like I, I hope this is like you said. I hope this is the main event of the night, yeah. As it should be, honestly. If you want to really make a statement, this should be the main event of the night. But um, we'll see. John Moxley will be appearing apparently. So also, um, we'll see him in the states. Yeah. This week, either way. Yeah, at least we'll see him like, you know, streaming or whatever, or on TNT at least. Um, but you know, he's uh he's supposed to fight Sean Spears next week. In Boston. Really? Yeah. So, like, I think he's just, you know, it's just, well, it's just more promo. Yeah, promo. Yeah. He's going to talk. He may close it out. He may start it. Something. I don't know. He may open it. He may, he may uh, 
have the last segment before the last match. Who knows? Yeah. And then, like he said, when you jump the gun, the elite Young Bucks and Kenny Omega versus Jericho and most likely LAX. Yeah. It makes sense. They yeah. debuted the other day. They beat the Young Bucks ass and the uh, the Lucha Bros asses. Yeah. It, it only makes sense for Jericho to partner with with um the new team. I'm sorry, um PMP actually. Not yes, LAX. not LAX. PMP, now they're yeah. PMP, formerly known as LAX. Santana Proud and Powell. So um, it was so good watching them wrestling like right there. I like it how was so much fun. It was so much energy. It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, should be good, man. I mean, we've been. I like how while we were while we were actually there at Battle Club, we were just like, why they didn't sign? Why AEW didn't sign Diamante? Should have. Should yeah, have should have been signed. She might be uh You never know. She might, might be, be a wild soon. card. Yeah. In might be two heading months over or something soon. like yeah. that. So who knows? Nobody knows her contract situation or anything like that. But um, hopefully during the, hopefully she helps them get the tag titles whenever yeah. they do. Um I, I, I honestly think it's Santana and Ortiz, honestly, because I mean it it would make sense for them to to pop up with Chris Jericho. I mean, and I can even see it being um these guys, the Dark Order, but nah, no, that that one doesn't make sense. Only to me. as, um, cause he, well, no, no, cause I'm thinking of Jericho's New Japan gimmick. Yeah, that would make sense. I'm just worried that, but not not this Jericho. I just hope it goes well. Like I don't, I hope they don't like try any yeah. try too hard. On a Wednesday, just be your organic selves. Be like what you've been being. Like yeah, it's unscripted. Fest. So yeah, do to. what you gotta do. Um, keep your format. Um, just make sure you watch, man. <laughs> Everybody should be watching. Yeah. It's a big week it's for wrestling. Week. It's overall. the most exciting week of wrestling yeah, that we've in a been long time. waiting for. Since WCW, since the Monday since Night War started. 2002? Yeah. One? No, what, well, since the Monday Night War started in like 98. No, I'm just saying when it ended. When it rather. ended, like 2001. When they brought it out. 2001, 2002, yeah. yeah. Um, Something we, we've been waiting for since the invasion angle. Yeah. So like, <laughs> that was horrible. I know. Um, so it begins Wednesday night, eight PM on TNT, AEW Dynamite. Um, definitely watch. Give it a watch. If you don't like it, that's you know that's your thing. If you do, and if they do well, I'm hoping they do well. If they yeah. do, if they don't do well, you know what? We'll talk about it. That they, did, that they didn't do well. Like yeah, there's no favoritism here. If 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 New Japan fucks up as much as we like New Japan, if they fuck up, we'll call it. Like, it doesn't matter. If WWE fucks up, Man, we'll you, call it. If you've watched if the Ring show. If Ring of Honor fucks up, we'll call it. Impact now is doing great, and we're calling that they're doing great. We yeah. used to shit on Impact all the time. We just so ne- like, Now we just need to actually watch. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. I don't... Uh, they shouldn't have left Fridays. New Japan... Not New Japan. Impact shouldn't have left Fridays. I mean, I don't know, man. But that's They're running from each other. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. There's so much fucking doesn't matter. either way. But... Yeah, it's, there's, there's, it's too much. But, I mean, I think that's all we got, honestly. Don't do not do it. I didn't even say it. I haven't faced... Oh, you know what? I'm going to take your phone. <laughs> I'm taking your phone for over here. I got Google on laptop. But, that being said, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a lot that we had to talk about. And the not really. Format, not we didn't really. even get... I missed this last week. Teddy Hart has been injured. He was injured in a match with... Austin Theory? No. Aries. Austin Aries. Whatever. In MLW. I hope shouldn't have, it shouldn't have happened. It l- looked very unclean. So, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's not going to get any better. He's not going to get any more love. So, I don't know what's going on with Austin Aries. So. Eh, well, wishes care. to everyone in, in, the, in the Heart Foundation. Definitely Facts. you, Teddy Hart. Yeah, yeah, so. For sure. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the episode. You can follow us on Twitter at Pokes and Chokes, myself at Mr. Alex unders- underscore, Mr. Alex 25 underscore. Sorry. The guy on my left at too many underscores. N U underscore K E W L A. You can follow us on Instagram at Pokes Chokes Podcast, on Facebook.com slash Pokes and Chokes, Patreon.com slash Pokes and Chokes if you want to help with funding of the podcast. You could buy our merch on Patreon. Patreon.com. I'm a dumbass. I just said that. On redbubble.com and threadless.com, you know, just yes. you know. Get what um, get and we got new shirts, and we might not have we might have new shirts coming like Halloween style soon, hopefully. Like, I gotta get in touch with our artists, but uh, 
yeah, I spread the word. Subscribe. Give us five stars on either everything Spotify, <laughs> Apple, um, well, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, uh, Google Play, Stitcher, and our Transistor app. FM. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, just share. Does subscribe Transistor have a have a YouTube? App? I, I'm not sure. Can I see my phone? Not entirely sure, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching again. We'll find out if they have an app at a different date. Yes. So. Peace out. <laughs> and have I a tried. good one. We'll get you next week. Peace. You gonna give it to me after you click it? Don't yeah. <laughs>